Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. I'm over here at IWA in Germany, and I am, by the way, honored and privileged to have the one, the only, Mr. Massimo Tamfolio on the program. You guys are familiar, of course, with Tamfolio products. They've been around for forever. Well known throughout the world, not just in Europe. So Mr. Tamfolio, I, I have to say thank you so much for being on the program. We have a, a bolt action rifle in front of us. I was walking by the booth earlier and I was like, you know, this is something I don't associate with Tamfolio. Uh -huh. What do we have here? Uh, we have, uh, first of all, I want to correct to you. It's not a bolt rifle. It's a straight pull rifle. So instead of having a movement that rotating in order to open the bolt, you have mm -hmm. just to straight, to pull it straight on it. So you don't have to anymore to make the movement, the 60 degrees in order to open and, and lock uh, the bolt. This was thought in this way and to present it this way, but uh, this product was uh, uh, produced, not produced, developed in the last five years. So we arrived to a point where we knew that the use for the people that want to shoot long distance doesn't have the possibility all the time they have to open the bolt to rotate. And then having not the possibility to aim to the target all the time. So a movement that has to be it has to be not fluent as it has to be with the straight pull that we have. This uh, rifle was made in connection with an Austrian company, Strasser, that are doing the action. We are doing the barrel and the, and the stock. The barrel, by the way, has a multi-radial rifling that mm -hmm. gives you much more precision at a long distance. So mm -hmm. we are getting a very, very good uh, precision also at one kilometer. This, this rifle is made in 308 and 338 Lacqua Manium. So. And I see it's in a chassis here. You've yeah. got, and did you all design and build the chassis? Yeah, we designed the chassis, so we built it, and knowing also and looking for what it was done already by the competitor. So we, we are taking advantage of their experience too in order to create something that is modern and is good for the, for the shooter that will use this kind of rifle. Uh, this rifle, without uh, the accessory, the scope and so on, it will be around uh, 9,000 euros. What is this rifle going to be called? The, this is we are called because we are normally using for our product a, a, a title. That means this is a TRT sniper. That's pretty pricey. Do you think that the performance warrants the price? I mean... For sure, yes. What type of accuracy are we expecting in terms of MOA? Uh, MOA, we are not used to use MOA personally, but in one kilometer you can stay in 50 millimeter. Okay. All right. Yeah. Get, break out your conversion calculators, you boys and girls in the United States. 50, 50 millimeters at one kilometer. Well, I can see Ryan sitting there trying to do the math in his head while he's watching the camera. When is this going to be available in the United States? Uh, for the time being, not because we are more focused on military business than uh, than the civil market. So our focus is on the on, on the sale on the military market more than the civil. Was this produced in response to any sort of solicitation? Is there a unit out there looking for this type of rifle that you're competing for? Yes, I was looking. We made the marketing research, at, as I said, five years ago, in order to see what kind of rifle is missing in the field. And the straight pull in this caliber, at that time, it was uh, some kind of new product. Now I see that also other companies are producing straight pull uh, rifle for this kind of use. I have been shooting ever since I was a child. I've been into guns. I've been in this industry for almost 20 years now. I have maybe fired a straight pull rifle like one or two times. Mm -hmm. Not very frequently, not often, as you could probably tell, because I just call this a bolt action. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just some hick from Florida. Uh, but is the action derived from like a, a prior art? Like I know that usually it'll be like a Mauser or, yes. you know, a Steyr or something. So what about this one? This one, normally the first time it was used, the straight pull is what used by a company in Germany, Blazer. Blazer, okay. yes. Okay, the first Blazer, uh, the company Blazer made the straight pull for hunting. Mm -hmm. 
but it was on small caliber mainly. When you are talking about 338, the caliber is a little bit different, different pressure, different weight of the bullet and so on. So we had to find a right action that can stand without any problem with it. So we choose to, to work with Strasser in order to have uh, this rifle. Because okay. he has a blaster system but modified in a way that you are sure also to shoot with a 338 lockup. Right, because that's a very powerful round. You're going to need a powerful lockup in order exactly. to contain it. Exactly. Exactly. And there is a safety that means that you cannot pull the, 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 the trigger until it's effectively the bolt is closed. Mr. Tamfolio, I have to say once again that it's an honor to have you on the program. Thank you for walking us through your new product. Thank you for interviewing me. And uh, Yeah, and we've got all these uh, viewers who are, I'm sure, appreciative that you even agreed to be interviewed, you know, a man of, of your stature. Caesar, Caesar talking is the first time for me, so... Oh, no, and you did a great job. It's just funny because, you know, you go to most places, they send out just, you know, some guy they hired last year. Here, I get to speak to a legend. So, <laughs> thank you, thank so I'm appreciative. Okay. I know the viewers are appreciative. Guys, stay tuned. I am thankful that you're watching TFB TV Showtime coverage here at IWA. Take care. Dude, you seriously have to feel the trigger on this thing. Like it's freaking incredible. Dude, is that not crazy? It's pretty crazy.